What's going on guys, my name is Darkalt, and I'm bringing you some World at War gameplay on Team Deathmatch on the map of Nightfall. What's funny is that this map is actually, you know, Doris. Because if you didn't know, in World at War, Nazi Zombies, they did use maps from multiplayer Player to uh, give them a base, and then they would modify it to make it a good zombie map. And Nightfall was Doris, and Doris was a great map. Too bad Nightfall wasn't the greatest of all maps in World at War. I am using the dental plate gun. Uh, as I pre mentioned previous in some of my other com commentaries, it is not my favorite gun in this game. It can be kind of annoying at some times. So, what I want to discuss in this commentary is my YouTube rules and things that I follow on, on YouTube. So, this um, kid made a video probably like three months ago about his. So, I'm going to just discuss mine. Basically, what I do is I never ask for likes or favorites. I never ever ask for likes or favorites. Only if I truly feel my video deserves a like and a favor. Now, you may be asking, well, you can ask for them and then you'll get like, you know, an extra 50 likes or so. Well, I don't like asking, just for the fact that if they feel as if the video is good enough, being my, uh, they being my audience, then they would just know to like and favor it. I should not have to tell my audience to do it, and I just find it kind of rude. Many large commentators, like like Woody's Gamble Tag, he always asks for them. I, ne I never give him them. Never. I just give him a dislike. And people are like, what's so bad about reminding your audience about likes? Well... When you remind them, you're basically telling them to like the video. That's like me saying, yo, like the video right now. That's not a reminder, that's uh, telling you, or oh, leave a rating. You know, I, I don't like that, so I try to stay away from likes and favorites. Next thing, always reply to every comment, if it deserves a reply, that is. Now, some comments are just utterly stupid, and I don't reply to them, but... If they are logical, make sense, and are somewhat related to the video, I love replying. One of the greatest things about my channel is you will always get a reply if it's, you know, a logical comment. I will never, you know, never reply to you. Even if I get, you know, 10,000 subscribers, I will reply to you. Dead serious. And that, that's something that I follow largely on my channel. I see larger channels like Woody's Game Attack, and no, guys, I'm not. I don't hate Woody's Game Attack. I actually watch him. I'm just using him as an example. Um, like Woody's Game Attack, he never replies to his comments, so I, I try to reply to my comments, especially since I'm smaller. You kind of sh need to. Another thing, I always try to get at least one video out a day, or at least you know, 10, 12 videos a week, because. Face it, YouTube is better than TV, and you can, you know, get the content that you like anytime. So, maybe 10, I have like, I have like 20 people at least. Let's just say I have like 20 people who really enjoy my content. I would rather put out my, vi like, two videos a day than one if I only had 10 people who liked it. So, the more people you get liking your content, the more content you should put out a day. Because they want to see your content. So they won't, they won't bitch at you for that. So that's what I always try to do. Always get some videos out. And, I mean, entertain my, entertain my audience. The next thing that I try to do is provide the best quality I can provide. Now, I don't have, you know, the Black Magic Intensity Pro capture card. But I do have a capsule call, and I do my best to make it look really good. And I think it looks really good. So, you know, back in the day, I was using a camera, and even then, I tried to make that camera quality as best as I could because I don't want you guys watching like a potato. I mean, like, really, who wants to watch like a dazzle? If you have a dazzle, freaking trade that in or something. I mean, it's either go big or go home these days. So. I always try to uh, get the best quality of picture and audio out there. So I will be, I don't know if I'll upgrade my mic later on because this mic is actually quite good and I like it. So, um, 
well, like, upgrading to a blue snowball or blue yeti is not really beneficial because it would just make my voice more clear, which I don't really need. So, that's all I really have to talk about the rules of my channel. That's what they, uh, uh, follow on my channel. Um, and another thing, I always never, and this is just another side note, I don't ask for thumbs up on my comments, alright? Some people, or well, a lot of people, ask for thumbs up on the comments, um, like on other people's videos, that is. I never ask for them. I think that's just stupid. And, uh, you know, same, it's like the same thing with likes and favorites. So, never ask for thumbs up on your comments, because it's actually quite stupid, and uh, you most likely will just get pitched at. So, hope you guys enjoyed the